<laughs> what up, K gang? I love that noise. Don't you know you love that noise? You know you're home. Listen, I've I done fixed it a couple times already. You see the chain up? It's up there. It's that. It's windy around this area, and then as soon as I open the door, the, the wind takes the doors, slams against this, breaks and breaking the chain and everything. So <sighs> I don't know if y'all. Watch the leg, the last video, but you know the hatch broke the trans. So today I'm gonna be pulling. And let's let's remove start the truck first. I just love hearing that that growl. Ooh, I just love it. She's on a stage one too. Um, my plans for this are uh, right after Christmas. I'm gonna take it to do the transmission, make sure it's got, because a stage two, stage three, supposedly the transmission start to go bad on them. So well, my thing is now, cause I'm gonna change the heads on my, my Cadillac truck. So I'm gonna do cam, springs, retainers, just like I did with my other truck, but I'm gonna do it with this truck. So I know, and change the oil pump. So basically do like a little mild rebuild on the Caddy. And Make sure I'm gonna go from tranny to head and everything after that. But it's just to, it's to like be conscious that the tranny's good, everything's good, and go forward with it. You know what I'm saying? You don't wanna go backwards and get a fully built motor and then you ain't got a transmission to push it. So I just do it that way. I got my son out here with me. He's gonna help me pull the swap out of the, the hatch today. So. Don't you, don't you love how she sounds? She sounds so, so aggressive. I love it. And she look pretty. I just, I gotta change those pulleys. They should be here by tomorrow or something like that. Change the pulleys. I'ma change everything. Serpentine belt, AC belt. And she should be A1. Matter of fact, I am gonna pull the plugs. Let's just put some new plugs in it. Just, yeah, I'm just gonna just put some new plugs in it just in case. Even though I did it when I first got it, but I'm gonna do it again just to have a little peace of mind, a little peace of mind. Ain't she sexy? It's for sale. Ever want it? Let me know. Before I do all this work to the car, somebody come give me some bread or some money for this. Right? What? You hear this kid? to my trade for an EF. Whatever. He wants a lot. I want a million dollars and I can't have that. So you know how that goes. Maybe in the future, right? Well, guys, I'm just, let me get to moving these cars, get the cover off this thing, and Jesus, out here looks crazy. But you know how fall is. So, um, yeah, let's get to moving.
So guys, uh, we got, as you see, we took everything off the car already. Um, cleaned up around here, around the floor real quick. We do have to move it a little over so I can get in this side. Take the axle out this side. Yeah, it's gonna be like a, so now, basically when I get our tools, when I get our jacks, when I get our, our um, the jacks, the tools, get everything situated where we need to pull this all out. She looks pretty, don't she? Huh? Huh, rest in peace to that trans. <laughs> It's okay. Uh, we'll build another one and we'll put it right back in. But I have to pull it out anyway because I need to change the VTC can. So I need to move it over a little bit. So I like to move it like four inches above. Right where my foot's at, right here. It's going to sound crazy. It's going to sound nasty. And the starter button is staying stuck. I try to pull off slow. How do you like that? Sounds horrible.
Leon OG. Yes, my rims are real. Rims. Real. Uh, I drained the antifreeze already. And I, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. Got a huge headache. I mean, like, huge. It's just throbbing. So I took the intake manifold off, bang. Took all the fluids out of the radiator. My next thing is uh, drain the, the oil and then I'm gonna train the transmission also. Then take the header off, leave everything exposed and then we're gonna take everything off the motor. Every single wire. Starter's been disconnected already. Um, couple things here and there so. The next thing we're gonna get is the turbo manifold off, right? Alrighty then, we're making more progress, more progress. Um, it's taking longer than usual because I do wanna take everything apart and make sure it goes in the right places, so. And I'll remember where they are at, so bolts, um, hey, it's already winter time, so what I'm gonna do is just prep this thing, prep it for paint, that's all I gotta do for now, because why, what's the point of bringing it back, putting it back together right now, yes, because I am getting a new, new, uh, a new radiator support, um, and we'll be cutting all these things out of here cutting these plates out because that was when the car was uh well it was a drag car and that was where the weight bar connected to and this had the wide frank's front front end on here and the battery box that's from all that time so now i'm gonna do is just cut those things out and I, I don't, this will look all janky here. So, new radius, well, look, look, look at this. Yeah, so definitely new radius support. Um, I do have the new front traction bar because I left the old one on there. I just put the new hardware on there. And the new, you see them there. Those are actually new. New axles, all from the dealer. Yeah, a lot of stuff on here is new that I just put on. And what I'm gonna do, make sure it does not get rusty when I take it all apart, when I put it all back together. I am gonna do a lot of undercoating under here because I wanted everything not to rust at all no more. So, and I do have a, what is it called that? Chase Bay um, brake tuck kit. Because the one that I have now is a homemade and it's janky also so get this looking fresh and fresher the years go by we take off and get more picky and picky clean up make sure everything's out the way and just tomorrow video i was basically part two
This is the charge harness. Anybody don't believe me? I make them myself. So. I'm gonna leave it on there. So what else is still plugged in? I was wondering why my uh, speed sensors wasn't working either. Look at this. Look where the speed sensor was at. Hanging on the floor. And it broke the ear off holding it. This clutch is ridiculous, man. I'm thinking of just putting a stock transmission in and low boost. I'm telling you. Too much power for what? To break stuff. And you don't even race anymore. I guarantee you this thing is in pieces inside the transmission. Got a pin side. I had my needle nose. These guys are drifting. You hear it? <laughs> <laughs> you hear it? <laughs> they they <laughs> sound like it. They do. He's starting this early. No, no, no. It's a no, no. We're in Philly. They can't mm -hmm. do that. Guys, lately, I know you've been hearing uh, on all my videos. You've been hearing ambulance noises, police. This area was not like this three, four years ago. So it's getting worse, and uh, I'm trying to get out of here. I'm trying to get out of here. So. That's why I'm gonna fix the roof of the garage and pray for pray. I gotta hurry up, finish cleaning this up. Someone they fix the roof, paint this all up real good, put it up on the market for rent. Cause I'm definitely not selling anything. Oh, MG. Wanna see some? Where's the bolt that goes there? And I ain't loosen that. Everything gets loose is here. Everything gets loose with everything. Oh guys, I'm just gonna end it right here, man. Tomorrow will be another day. And another day of taking this thing apart and finding what's loose. And what bolts are missing and what bolts are stripped. What's missing in my uh, EK? Yeah. Yeah, because there's a leak here, and I believe that was from when I changed the valve cover gas. And these bolts go in here, and they're stripped. You know what that means then, right? New valve cover then. Because I'm, I'm going to re-thread that, re-thread that other one. I don't know, this will probably be up for sale, whoever wants it. Yep, I'm going to post it for sale. Yeah, because they're going to be stripped. One. with that being said guys thank you for watching thank you for showing love on all the videos thank you for giving the likes on the videos if you haven't did it give us a like give us a like right now right now do us do us the favor support the k game um we're growing and and that's because of you guys uh, i appreciate the likes i appreciate the comments Anything you guys want to know, drop it in the comment. Um, if I don't get to you the same day, I will get to you definitely the next day. So I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.